What's up everybody? It's your boy Virus here back for another video real quick. Uh, I'm going to break down how I beat a former champion in StarCraft. I've lost a lot of matches, but uh, the game I won, I I played like a 200 IQ level. So, I'm going to break it down and let's get right into it. If you don't know how to play StarCraft, uh... I can make another video if you guys like just leave a comment down below in the description I mean in the comments um, but I'm the yellow Terran uh, this is all standard Starcraft in the beginning trying to get your minerals up so you can buy stuff um, but I was a huge fan watching him so it's kind of like it was, it was kind of like he was trying to teach me things and we were playing uh, he kept on beating me but um, so basically Terran versus Zerg. Now obviously we both don't know what races we are yet. So most people want to choke and block their entrance. Um, but for, for, for Zerg. But you, trust me, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to do that with other races because you don't know what they are. And... Protoss, you want to rush because you have because they're the the beginning of the game. They're the most deadly. Terran is the mid game and the late game is Zerg. So I need so we know this is going to go to a mid to late game based off our races. Now he wants to choke. He would want to choke because the only time you don't choke with Zerg is if you know the opponent's Zerg. Because then it comes to a battle of just who can outmass. Because it takes so much resources and so much time to get a choke up. It'll slow down your economy. So. Speed it up a little bit. So I'm doing the standard uh, racks right here. I misplaced my depot a little bit. But that's alright. So I'm doing the three rack uh, pump. So as soon as my thing is at 18, see how so I don't my, I don't get PSI stuck up here. It'll just keep on. Every time a marine comes out and an SCV comes out, it'll be exactly 26, and then another one would pop, but would be finished. <clears throat> but um, I don't know what race he is yet, so I'm bunkering up down here just in case he's gonna rush me. I found out that he's Zerg and that he didn't choke. So I know I gotta I gotta control I gotta put the pressure on because without him choking, see he knows he's a, as smart of a player as he is. Like I'm going right for a mid build because I know he's not gonna rush out in the middle of the map. I know he's not gonna do that. He don't have units yet. So I need to get my tanks to spawn as close to his base as I possibly can. So I'm making my factory up top, um, doing a mid base build, because I I don't I want if I spawn my tanks back here, right? It's gonna take forever to get across the map. But at least in mid map, I have them pumping out right here, so I can constantly keep the pressure going on him. And I want to make sure I can take over his choke. See, he you might have missed that, but he uses zergling. That's He's not known as the fastest player in the in the game. He right now he's doing 170 APM. I'm doing 100. But he's a smart player. So in case you missed that, notice how I'm building a starport for air, and he comes around and sees that right away. And what does he do with his lane? I'm trying to get it, but it was too late. He he stopped my building construction. That costs me another SCV to go all the way up just to make to finish making that. Smart play by him. I'm getting my tech done now. We're at the five minute mark. Um, he knows I'm tearing, so he's spreading out his sunken colonies. So the tanks take. I had to keep on unseaging and sieging the tanks over and over again because. If he has them all together, they can all get knocked out at once. So now, he's trying to go air. Well, he should be trying to go air. He's trying to outmass me this game. 
Um, but at, like I said, see how he's spraying out his sunken colonies because it, it, the tanks take forever to like kill. If he unstops them. He keeps going with the other things, trying to get a different position on them. Now, I know I only have I only have two tanks and I don't have enough marines and I don't know how much unity he has yet. I need to keep the Zerg broke. My goal is to get some vessels and harass his mineral pile. He's trying. He's trying to uh, protect himself from a drop, just in case. He knows he has to go air because of my tank push, because the air is going to wipe them out completely. But no smart play he just did. He targeted the tanks manually because the tanks are the ones that are going to push in and be able to if I just attack my marines I'll get wiped out of those sunkins so he knows that if I if he takes out those tanks manually um, I have to keep on making them so I have two of them coming up here I have my vessel I pretty sure I made my research for my radiate so now I'm trying to build this base and I'm trying to build another factory because if I can keep on pumping, I can keep pumping, sieging, pumping, sieging, pumping, sieging, and I don't even have to worry about bringing them across the map. If this thing gets done, I know it's GG. He knows it's GG. He has to break out. He has to break out. He knows it. Once he saw that factory going down, look, he's targeting the factory directly. He doesn't want me to make that factory. He targeted the siege tank directly because he doesn't he, he needs to get rid of it. He's trying to get his air So he's gonna be trying to make uh, a Hive and try to get his guardians to come out, but he needs air and he's trying to do him I think a marine mutilisk mask. So what he's doing is What I'm well, well, what I'm doing is basically I'm trying to defend it because I this is an IQ play by me. This is how I'm keeping up with the best, bro. Like, seriously, let's go back a little bit. Do you see? Do you see what I'm doing right here? Usually people do it just for range. I not only did that, I'm using my engineering bay because he keeps targeting my tanks directly. I'm using it to cover it so he can't click it. See, I can't click it. He cannot click that tank. So the tank can't, can't be manually clicked. That's a 200 IQ play right there. See how he targeted that tank? He can't get to that tank. Because it's blocked by this building. Now this vessel, I'm going to go harass his minerals, but he knows. I know he sees that, right? Here's another 200 IQ play. Do you see what I'm saying? So, I know if I go this way, a, a good player like him is going to be able... He watches the map at the same time as play. So, he sees that vessel that was sitting there. He knows I'm coming for the vessel. So, that's why he he's bringing... He, 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 I mean, he has his hydras on this side. Because, you see how he knows I'm bringing the, the vessel? Right? But... Do you see... How he changed direction? Let's look at that again. Do you see how he changed that? He changed. He has hydros here. He pumps them out. He saw me coming this way, and then he brings them back this way because he thinks that I'm bringing the vessel this way because I know he sees what he sees. I know he like I know he sees that vessel. This is what he sees. I know he sees that vessel, right? So here's what he's seeing in in real time. So he thinks that I'm bringing the vessel over towards his mineral. So when he spawns his hydralis in, he's going to bring him over there. But then he sees my vessel, and he thinks I'm bringing my vessel this way. See how I see? Once I'm out of the range of the Ovi, that's when I go towards his minerals. He thinks it's coming this way, but really, I just literally did a little switcheroo on him and I juked him out. So I'm harassing his minerals. Let's see how many kills I get with that. 
20. And now I got the other side too. I don't even think he noticed it because I'm pushing at the same time as I'm pushing the vessel there. So he didn't even realize. He realizes now. Oh no, he doesn't. He still didn't realize. He's not mining. He he's not making drones. He's not gonna realize. He's not realizing his money. He didn't realize. He still didn't realize. Now he's realizing. His drones. He's realizing now. He's realizing now. Now he's making drones. But, um. So. Now I have a vessel on this side and a vessel on this side. So I can come at different angles. He knows he has to break out or GG. Like he has to take over this mid. If I lose his mid. I can't lose this mid. If I lose this middle base, it's over. Because I have nothing over here. This will just get wiped out. This is just my marine mass. But if he takes away all this, I'm done. It's over. So I have to make sure I hold. Which, I kept the Zerg broke, and now I'm hitting him again. And I'm coming on this side too to hit him. And he says, nice job, GG. And then I, I, cause I took his minerals out again. He's too broke. He can't, he can't outmass me now. So it, it, he, he, there's no point in playing the game out. Because I was literally, look, look, this is what he had left. Like, th this wasn't much. And all I had to do was fully just mass out and just kill him now. And he's broke. He has no money to recover. So he knew it was over. There's no point in playing anymore. So that is how I beat a former champion, XS Day. I'll play them. My APM was 223. It's just actions per minute, which is how fast you're going. It is 174. Let's look at the units real quick. 246. You're always going to have more Zerg because you Zerg units they come out a lot, like in more. So. But I kept up with him considering the fact that I'm Terran. Protoss usually has the least uh, amount of units made. But construction, constructed wise, 41. So, you know, we had around the same build. But I killed the same amount of buildings he's killed. We lost the same amount. But the difference was, is like, you know, it was over. This is where, this is where, this is where everything changed. He should have double that by now. If I wasn't taking out his minerals, you should never be this close. The Zerg needs a lot of minerals to mass and make units. And that, taking out his mineral pile is what got me the win in the game. If I wouldn't have done that, he would have outmassed me, he would have killed me, and I would have lost. So, overview, that is how... That's how it's done, son. So it was a mid-game match. I didn't let it go. I didn't let it go to the late game. So I appreciate you all for watching, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Steven. I'll see you.